Let's talk money, let's talk payments. Uh, when I travel, I have on me two debit cards, two debit cards of two different account numbers I have. I'm from the Netherlands. Before we can use the debit card outside of Europe, we have to activate it for that uh, continent or we have to activate it for the whole world. I have a credit card on me. The most accepted credit card around the world is a Visa card or a MasterCard. A very useful, practical tip, redraw money off of ATM on Friday for the whole, that lasts you the whole weekend. Because a lot of times ATMs are empty and they will not refill them the whole weekend. Memorize your PIN. If you write down your PIN, somebody else can find it too. I always have emergency cash on me, euros and US dollars, say around 50 to 100 of each currency. It's very easy if your car doesn't work or maybe the ATM is empty or you have to pay for a visa because most of the times if you have to pay for a visa on arrival, you have to pay it in cash and most accepted is of course a US dollar. Divide your money. I divide it over my backpack, my wallet and my money belt, even over my bra. When I travel, I have my credit card and some money in my bra. And there it is, money belt. I know that there are a lot of travelers out there who say, don't use a money belt, you're easy victim and it makes you look so much like a traveler. I actually love my money belt. I only use it when I have a travel day from A to B. It is a good one because you are so well organized. You have everything on one place and easy access. So I have my passport on me. I have my vaccination passport on me. I have my emergency cash on it and my debit card and my spare pictures. So when I have to check in for a plane or a train or a boat, I only have, I only need my money belt. I wear the money belt very high up, just under my breast, on the left side, just under my armpit. So it's very high on my body, so it is not that easy to access. But being very organized that you know that you have actually only to wear, worry about that, because I always say, if I still have my passport and my credit card, I'm good to go. It might be a good idea to inform your bank that you're going to travel longer and that you're going to go to different countries. Otherwise, it can be that they think uh, somebody stole your uh, card and they're going to block it. There are, uh, there are countries who have rules on the cash money of their own country that you can have on you once you enter the country and you leave the country. Like I said, those rules are mostly uh, for the local currency and sometimes you have to uh, report if you have like more than thousand US dollars or euros on, we, on you, you have to report it once you get into the country and also report that you still have it or you don't have it if you spend it uh, when you leave the country. And of course you want to know the value of the money. Download the app XE Currency. It's a free converter app for Android, which enables to track live mid-market rates for all currencies. It's very easy uh, to use and it's very useful. Thanks for watching. I want to share my travel experience, tips, tricks and lifestyle with you. So I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Put on a smile. It's universal language.